Rising from remote landscapes across the U.S. is an old and new answer to the energy crisis. As part of his clean energy plan, President Biden is spending $6 billion to bail out nuclear energy plants at risk of closing. U.S. Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm says she wants the country powered by clean energy by 2035. Nuclear plants are very cost effective to operate once you, once you get them built. Uh, that compares with things like uh, coal and gas, where a lot of the expense is in the fuel itself. This is nuclear country. The state of Illinois is more dependent on nuclear power than any other state in the U.S. The state's six nuclear reactor sites provide more than half of the energy the state uses. So when an energy company wanted to shut down two of them, the state of Illinois paid up to $700 million in subsidies to keep them open. Because without this energy, Chicago, 90 miles away, could go dark. To replace lost nuclear energy, cities like Chicago would likely turn to carbon generating oil and natural gas, a future that climate scientists and the Biden administration hope to avoid. As countries like France and China lean heavily on nuclear power, Germany and other nations are moving away from it. In the U.S., protests against nuclear power in the 1970s helped launch the modern environmental movement. The issue? nuclear waste in the form of spent fuel rods that remain radioactive for hundreds of thousands of years. Then there are the repeated disasters. The 1979 meltdown at Pennsylvania's Three Mile Island reactor. The deadly 1986 meltdown, fire and radioactive contamination at Ukraine's Chernobyl plant. And the fatal 2011 tsunami that shut down Japan's Fukushima reactor. But the climate crisis has changed the view of many environmentalists, who now see nuclear energy as the lesser of two evils. Priority number one is move away from fossil fuels. We think the best way to do that is by deploying real clean energy, which I would not characterize nuclear energy that way. Um, but we have it today. It may be around for a little bit as we work on that transition. The 93 reactors across the U.S. already provide 20 percent of the nation's electricity and half its carbon-free energy. The U.S. administration hopes the new funding will avert new closures. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Byron, Illinois.